Nigerians have a ceremonious cultural affinity for lavish social gatherings. Spraying of Naira notes and other currencies progressively appears to be the ultimate way to flaunt your social status. In recent times, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has intensified efforts to crack down on Naira abusers, leading to the arrest of Nigerian crossdresser Idris Okuneye, popularly known as Bobriski, who is currently facing a six-month jail term without bail conditions after pleading guilty to Naira abuse. Following Bob Risky's arrest also was the arrest of socialite Pascal Okechuku, alias Cubana chief priest, who was granted a 10 million naira bill after pleading not guilty to the charges of naira abuse. Many Nigerians see the spraying of the naira as a means to show affection to loved ones while displaying affluence and social status. However, with the ongoing trend of the federal government apprehending those guilty of naira abuse as seen in the case of Bob Risky, this culture of money spraying at events may be threatened. By my training as a legal practitioner, do you understand? I recognize the fact that if there is no law, there is no offense. The Naira uh, spraying and uh, stamping and uh, what have you, there is a law. A society creates a law. And the law is always out there to correct a particular mischief in this circumstance. The government of Nigeria has thought it wise that the abuse of the Naira, which includes spraying, stepping on it, rough handling it, you understand, is not good and therefore it constitutes an offense. And because it says it constitutes an offense, and it now provided punishment for every crime, for every crime, there must be an offense. If there is a crime and there's no, no, no punishment, then it is not an offense. Do you understand? So it is for us, you and I, it is for us to comply since it has been made an offense. I will not say it is right or wrong. Do you understand? Because it's a law. It's a law as mundane as eating is, if a law comes out today and says nobody should eat, and if you eat, this is what will happen to you, believe you me, that is it. It becomes an offense doing so. I also want to say this. The reason, one of the reasons given is that it costs us more money to procure, to produce the money. And the way people were treating it, you know, it was costing the, uh, the uh, economy even a lot more. And that is the essence. We must look at what is the mischief the law was there to correct. It has a mischief. Yes, it is cultural. I agree. I am a Yoruba man. We are used to appreciating people, spraying. That is it. We are. But if it is now costing the nation, so much harm and our lawmakers in their wisdom they decided to make for us they are our representatives they decided to make it a law and say don't do it you do it this happens believe you me we must embrace it it will stop more people will be thrown into jail period and nobody will have any apology for it so it will stop there's nothing stopping me if Kemi Benson is uh, celebrating housewarming and I put 500,000 in an envelope and I hand it over to her, I have done the same thing. Do you understand? Not until I start, that is show off. Like I said, it's a cultural thing. So we have an obligation. I'm doing something, my wife is doing something and somebody wants to appreciate me. They will appreciate me because it is our culture. Do you understand? There are certain cultures that we must do away with, and one of them is, uh, you know, spraying. That's all. It doesn't still stop me from appreciating you by giving it to you in form of transfer, an envelope, and so on and so forth. The Section 21 of the Central Bank of Nigeria Act of 2007 explicitly provides for penalties for those caught abusing the Naira. I'm honestly indifferent about it because I don't spray Naira. So, but I think people that do it. People that say you should not spray Naira are trying to dignify the Naira 
But then they are not attacking the actual culprits who are doing these things. People in power go to parties, spray millions of naira. Nothing happens. But you would hold someone who is spraying 50,000 naira or spraying a mega 100,000 naira when people are spraying millions. They are just beating about the bush. If they really want to stop you from spraying the naira, they know where to go. They know the people to talk to. Not rather than talking to people who are not exactly doing as much as they claim to be. For example, Bobrisi's case, everybody knows there is more to it than meets the eye. It is not because he sprayed Naira, but that's a story for another day. Oh, and bears will never end. Okay. So spraying Naira will never end. Except we now begin to see grave consequences. Maybe then people will start to rethink. And like I said, these consequences have to start from people in power first before a layman will take it seriously. Money changing is a means of livelihood for some people. It's also illegal, but it's a means of livelihood for some people. And a, a huge fragment of the fun at parties is the dance floor. The dance floor, the spraying of money. So when you take that out, what are people supposed to be doing on the dance floor? Dance. Make transfer and start dancing. Or make this, is it this fake Naira they were doing one time that you make pictures, spray that, and then um, send the money in later. They could do all of that, but I honestly do not know, Sha. I honestly can't say. Currently, I would say it's a good move. At least it will reduce the way people uh, modulate the currency. And also, it will, there's a way to position Nigeria because there's this general look that the international community look down on the country like you don't value your currency, people trample on it, use it, abuse it in many ways. So at least for a start, it would. And, but our main focus should not be on just Nera mutilation, but at least how to, to curb corruption, to also um, fight against funds embezzlement, and also to look at a possible way of reducing fraud. If they will not um, do what we call a selective kind of um, punishment, I think it will, it will, starting by using those in powers that abuse the Naira in occasions where you see a senator in the north, northern part of the country, as far as um, Meduguri, spraying Naira on, uh, in his house, spraying Naira down and then causing a stampede. Not just, that one is even worse more than um, um, the mutilation, yeah, yeah, because it's a stampede and also People got injured, lost of lives at that process. I think that one is even worse compared to mutilation. So if they set example with such kind of persons, I believe everybody will come back to their right senses. Nigerians are smart. When, when there was a um, cashless um, policy, people still had events and people, couples designed um, their, the kinds of money they want to be spread. So it's just for you to just use your other um, internet banking and other means of transferring funds. Send your contributions, your donations, your support, whichever, then using their card, using the, the um, card created by either the event planners and others for the occasion. I think Nigerians are smart. They are smart. And even if you can see, there was a video I watched recently. There is this occasion in the eastern part of the country and there's a box. Instead of spraying the Naira, people are just dropping it. I think it's even better and it's safer. Punishment for Naira abuse is the EFCC's approach to maintain the clean note policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria in order to enhance the visual appeal and durability of the banknotes in circulation. However, there seems to be a number of other common practices mishandling the Naira which appear to be currently overlooked. Nigerians wonder if concurrent actions will be taken against those or if there is a unique bias towards spraying the Naira.